I've been running through three things with, with my clients. And I think the first one is that we feel this pressure that we should be happy at, at Christmas as this expectation. But most of us are actually feeling exhausted and disappointed. So many gatherings have been cancelled and, um, you know, so many people in isolation. So I think that there's three things I want to say. The first thing is um, acknowledge that it's okay to be feeling sad and disappointed and putting that into words, telling people, writing it down, making room for those negative feelings, even though it's Christmas, is actually really important because it will help you tomorrow. Like so many people that we're seeing extended family over Christmas, even with lockdowns, and um, often that can be triggers for us to be get even more anxious in a normal Christmas. So the more that we're observing, what's going on for me? Am I, am I really disappointed? Am I exhausted? Am I sad? Put it into words, talk about it. If you have young people at home, ask them how they're feeling about, you know, grandma hasn't come from Queensland or whatever's gone on. Putting it into words means it goes to a different part of the brain and we process the emotions. The second thing, though, is gratitude because we don't want to wallow just in the negative emotions. We also, alongside them, um, it's, it's a good thing to think about what, what can we be grateful for? Do we have a roof over our head, food, people? That helps us think big picture. And we have to work at that because when we're anxious, and the last week especially, I think our anxiety levels as a country have really gone up. When we're anxious, our thinking goes to worst case scenarios, not to the positive and what to be grateful for. So we have to be really intentional. And being grateful doesn't cancel out the sadness and the disappointment. They sit side by side. And the third thing I'd say is one day at a time. We, we're we not sure what's going to happen next week, next month. Um, and as a wise man who's birth we celebrate tomorrow said you know don't worry about tomorrow each day has got enough trouble of its own manage yourself today what self-care do you need to do today so those three acknowledging difficult emotions putting it into words gratitude and one day at a time okay so there's some great tips there on dealing with anxiety i think some of the other emotions we may be experiencing this year is maybe some loneliness there may be some grandparents that might may not get visited this year there may be even the people themselves who have the virus that are isolating what are some tips for them or even some tips to maybe make it more of a social event should we be jumping on zoom and chatting playing some trivia amongst family members on christmas day it's a great idea. It's all we've got. <laughs> if you, especially if you're in isolation, so many people are. Um, Christmas is a special day in our society, isn't it? So trying to make it a different day, even if you're in isolation or, or even if you can't see family. Um, so you might set a rhythm, like plan it. How, what are you going to do for breakfast? In the morning, you might want to do a, a Christmas movie or an uplifting podcast Then absolutely join the family on Zoom for lunch. Or you might do that at several times during the day to feel part of it. Um, the other thing which I often recommend to people, because for some people Christmas is a lonely time anyway without COVID or isolation, um, have a think about the like the historical meaning of Christmas is it's within in the Christian faith is as a time of, it's a remembrance of something spiritual that's happened. And even if you're not religious um, or have a different religion, it can it's still an historically authentic Christmassy thing to do on Christmas Day, if you're by yourself, to reflect on meaningful things, to have a time of spiritual reflection or that time of gratitude, which um, is also really relevant. It doesn't have to just be about family and food and presents. Ideally, it would be about that and a time of reflection, but maybe this Christmas enforced isolation, it might be a time you set aside a little bit of journaling or reflecting on the bigger picture of things. Um, that might be, have to be how it goes, as well as staying connected with your family, of course.